first time you are seeing any of my videos, I will say thank you. Welcome to this channel. My name is Wolo. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I love to talk about life in Canada and everything Canada. Today has been very wonderful. Please don't mind me. Anyway, um, I have seen all the emails you've sent to me and it's been very overwhelming for me to actually respond to them. So if I've not responded to your emails, please bear with me. This period, I need all the energy. All the energy, yes. Anyway, so have you destroyed the like button? Please don't scatter your phone. <laughs> Don't, don't don't destroy your phone when you are giving me thumbs up. I just need the thumbs up, you know. Scatter the like button, but don't destroy your phone. <laughs> anyway, um, this video is just a short video. It's more like an advice for young people who want to come to Canada. Um, people who fall within the ages of 19 to 29. Um, and if you know you have a master's degree, you fall within this age bracket and you already have a three years working experience. Um, there is no point looking to come to study in Canada. You should just immigrate. Some days ago, I said, okay, I will respond to some messages in the DM. And I saw one message. I responded to the person and the person was telling me she wants to come to study in Canada. When I asked her for her age, she said she was um, 28 years old. In fact, the question was, she already has a master's degree. But she wants to come to do her master's again in Canada if it's not going to affect the visa application since she already has a master's degree and i was just shaking my head i'm like it's like this person does not know that she's actually within the age bracket of immigrating she has a master's degree already and i also asked her if she had um, at least three years working experience and she said she had five years working experience which means she actually graduated early and she already started working she already has a five years working experience she has a master's degree and she's 28 years old and she wants to come and do another master's degree in Canada. And I'm like, it's like you have so much money. It's like you have about $20,000 you want to pay for tuition. Why don't you just immigrate? You know, a lot of people do not even know these things that there is a certain age bracket that favors people that can immigrate to Canada. Once you are 30 years and above, it becomes um, it becomes difficult somehow, but not that it is not achievable, it is still achievable. But if you know you fall within this age bracket of 19 to 29 and you already have a master's degree and you already have three years working experience, there is no point coming to study in Canada. Just immigrate as a permanent resident. Save that money that you spend for tuition fees and immigrate as a permanent resident. If you feel like doing a PhD or another master's again, then you can go ahead and do a master's again. Like I said in one of my previous videos, most of these degrees do not even count in Canada when you come to Canada at the end of the day. It's mostly um, certificate qualifications that count um, in the workplace. By the time you get a master's degree and you go to the workplace, you find out that most of the people in the workplace do not even have a um, master's degree. So what's the point coming to do another master's degree when you already have a master's degree before, except you want to change careers? If you plan to change careers, then it is understandable that you really want to change careers and that's why you want to do another master's degree. But if you don't want to change careers, there is no point coming to Canada as a student, especially if you fall within the age bracket of 19 to 29 and you already have the work experience. There is no point coming to spend that money um, in tuition um, as an international student. You will now spend so much time before you become a permanent resident when you could have just immigrated and be a permanent resident instead. Um, and if you decide to go to school once you become a permanent resident, then it's your choice. You know, so um, this message is for people who are between the ages of 19 to 29 and you know you have a master's degree already. Um, you have a three years work experience. Please, instead of you looking for schools, it is better to think of how you can immigrate to Canada. Um, if you look at the cost benefit analysis, it will, it will even cost you more immigrating as an international student, you know, and it will even take you more time to become a permanent resident at the end of the day. So why don't you focus your energy on um, evaluating your credentials, writing the LTS exams and getting into the express entry pool because you have age that favors you. The moment you clock 30, you start losing five points in the express entry pool. So if you know anybody who falls within this age bracket and the person already has a master's degree 
and the person has three years work experience tell the person should the person should not be bothering to come to canada as a student i mean it's just a waste of time come to canada as a permanent resident instead and if you decide to go back to school it's your choice so this is the short video i want to do for today thank you so much for watching please bear with me um this period is a very busy period for me i'll try as much as possible to respond to all your emails and um, i hope to see you in my next video stay blessed and have a beautiful week bye, -bye.